G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review. This time this is uh, Chewbacca from Solo, a Star Wars movie. A Star Wars story, sorry. Anyway, so there we go. Managed to pick this one up. Uh, Target exclusive, supposedly. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail as uh, it's been done before. Many people have it, but still, there is a reason why I am doing it. Anyway, I'll have a quick squeeze at it. He's cool. A little bit different from our other six inch Chewbacca, either the vintage series or the original black series. Very nice, maybe probably the same, same mold, bit of a repack, but it's got the goggles with a pretty easy elastic <coughs> set of goggles on him. Easy to fit with two hands, of course. I've only got one hand. And the only difference being maybe a bit of a difference in the paint job and a double-shouldered bandolier, which is cool. And of course, a different rifle, a different weapon that he acquired. Um, I actually wrote down the name of this one. Rifle is, this is a, it's definitely not a bowcaster. It is a Merison. Munitions SX-21 Pump Action Scatter Rifle. Oh, lighting is just going all over the shop now. Anyway, the rifle itself looks quite nice. Um, two different bits of paint on it. Also, heat scarring at the end. Jesus, okay, I'm going all over the shop here. Shouldn't have filmed down here, but I'm doing other stuff in my beer cellar at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, the, holy crap, yeah, <clears throat> the heat scarring there at the end, which shows it's a pretty super hot weapon, and being fired, there we go, oh my god, wow, that is some really crap lighting, still got focus, thank god, but anyways, so Chewy, nice solid, probably about a seven and a half inch figure, not your six inch, because yeah, I'm not doing any comparisons to other Chewbacca's, other Wookiees, or whatever. Oh my god. I should stop this and just film it upstairs, for God's sake. Oh no. Yeah, looks nice. <coughs> I'll show you the box. There we go. Nice picture of Chewbacca, those goggles that he picks up on Xandar. Z Vanda, not Xander. Jesus Christ. And, <clears throat> of course, being a so-called Target exclusive, that's not the case. And there we go. Writing on the back. And that, just like the um, Gamorrean Guard has the writing on there, so... And the reason I left the sticker there is the $40 mark. That's how much it cost me in the store. But not from Target. Definitely not. Um, yeah, they're at Zing Pop Culture, guys. And I'd like to give a shout out to a good YouTube mate of mine, Rogue Kwan. A young fella on YouTube who's also doing Star Wars figure reviews. He managed to pick one up. <coughs> And he picked one up from the same store that I got it from. Have you ever heard of this place called Zing Pop Culture? They're all around Australia, or somewhere around Australia, mainly in the big super, um, like Westfields and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, they exist. And you'd say to me, 40 bucks, that's a bit too much. I'd say, well, not really. When some of these Black Series figures come out, especially these exclusives, if I were to go online and say buy from the United States and they'd say, oh, 25 American dollars plus 35, 40, 50 bucks in postage. Now, this is what gets me. I picked this up 40 bucks in hand. There was no other transaction, no middleman, just the store saying thank you for your patronage, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I do shop at Zing quite often. I even got myself a little card, which will eventually boost my 
um, I might get a deal off them one day if I buy off them enough. Anyway, so like those little coffee cards you get from stores and get a little clip on it and whatnot. You get a you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so yeah, so forty bucks cash in hand. That's where they are. They're around Australia. There's a few around. When I bought this, there was a couple more on, on the pegs, only about two. That was in Belconnen in the ACT. If you want one, go get it. It's pretty cool. So anyways, um yeah, instead of buying online, I mean I've been I'm being burnt. I feel like I'm being burnt online. The postage service is just absolutely terrible at the moment here in Australia. Um, I've bought things from Asia and the United States. Um, it seems to leave. I've tracked. I've tracked my passages, packages, and they they leave they leave Asia pretty quick. But the minute they hit Australia, I don't know where the hell they're going. So, and as I believe, I've been following this on the news. A lot of governments. My government, US government, I don't know about UK or Europe, but they believe that the postal service is a dead business. And I'm like, you've got to be bloody kidding me. And they think that people, just because people don't send letters anymore <clears throat> or receive paper bills, that the postal service is dead. What is this? People are buying not just action figures mind you everything online objects are being packaged and sent to and from businesses to customers and now it's costing us more money so yeah if i was to buy this from the united states 25 american dollars which is about 30 bucks plus 35 40 50 dollars postage and that's they say priority priority my ass but anyway, that's my little rant afterwards. Again, thank you, Rogue Kwan. Um, if he leaves a comment down below, check him out. I can't link him. Just click on his on his image and check out his action figure goodness. He's got a good collection. He's a only a young fella, but I'll tell you what, he's up there with everyone else. And so that's about it. I might do another video later on today. Um, believe it or not, the sci-fi subscriber's choice. Another new... Um, YouTuber has asked me to see some stuff and I'm happy to do it Absolutely happy to I was going to do it later on but because I, I thought I was getting some packages, but again, I'm being burnt by the postal service Ridiculous I'm not going to rag on about this anymore hitting the eight-minute mark Normally like to switch off by now So yeah, all right guys, so check out Rogue Kwan's channel and I might do another subscribers choice a little bit later if you can get into Zing Pop Culture and maybe other stores as well, you get this so-called Target exclusive solo a Star Wars story Chewbacca. He's a good pickup, a great figure, I like him. Alright guys, all the best. The force is with you. Always.